Hello everyone, I'm back with a new interesting video and today our topic is English grammar. Yes, and this is I think day 7. Okay, in last episode, in, which is last day, we have been discussing about all types of nouns, detailed information about nouns. And also I have been given a QFS to you which is to make a tongue twister containing collective pro, common noun, proper noun, collective noun and abstract noun. Okay, so I think no one had um, uh, kept in the comment a tongue twister. So even I have made a tongue twister with my own uh, using a common proper a common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract noun. So I'm going to reveal that. So it is chalk, milk, chalk, and love. Chalk, milk, chalk, love. And this is what the tongue twister I made. See, chalk is nothing but its full form is chocolate. This is a this is a category. And dairy milk. Yes, this is a uh, name of category. From dairy milk, I took the milk and troop. Troop of um, like a troop of soldiers, like troop of it is a collective noun, okay? Troop and love. You can you can't see the love, yes? You can't see the love, but you can feel it. So uh, from chocolate I took only chalk, from dairy milk only milk, troop love. Chalk, milk, true love. This is what the tongue twister I made. Chalk milk, true love. Okay, try to pronounce it five times. It is chalk milk, true love, chalk twist. Even I have uh, been wrong way. Yes, uh, yesterday we discussed about eight types of nouns. Eight types of nouns, which are, yeah, which are common noun, proper noun, collective noun. So okay, first one uh, in our video which is a concrete noun. Uh, I'll draw a line here. Okay. Sure. Okay. Concrete nouns. These nouns are just opposite or antonym. It's not antonym. Okay. Are just antonyms of abstract nouns. These nouns are just antonyms of abstract nouns. For example, abs what are the abstract nouns? The things, the nouns which can't be seen but they can be filled. Filled. Yes or no? So, but 
this can be uh, seen yes this can be seen for example table tv or uh, just phone i'm recording the video phone laptop even this whiteboard even my shirt even my marker what i'm writing so etc so concrete nouns are those nouns which can be seen that's it yeah which can be seen for example the, you can say many objects which can be seen a tree sofa tv laptop or chair a shirt marker phone stand whiteboard or ink shirt yeah pants underwear or um, a short door so many like this which can be seen or tree wall sofa etc 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 there are infinity things which can be seen with our eyes yes so okay and one more note guys bacteria doesn't come under abstract noun because we can feel it correct but we can't see it you are correct but we can be seen in through the microscope bacteria can be seen through the microscope yes so but it can love be seen through microscope can it be seen or can respect be seen through microscope or can gravity can uh, uh, seen through the microscope no not at all the things which can't be seen even through microscope stethoscope whatever scope should be whatever eye should be we can't see it just we can feel it those are the abstract terms okay are you clear with us so okay these are the concrete nouns and next we go to material nouns these nouns are uh, these are the nouns used for uh, manufacturing the substances or simply we can say uh, is a noun uh, used for materials in the name itself there is material for example iron gold okay iron gold silver silver potassium it is a material na huh? iron gold silver potassium or carbon diamond yes diamond so these are all the materials okay a uh, gems this uh, the nouns used for make, manufacturing the substances we use go iron iron buckets or iron nails in tools yes yeah, sword or um, what we say um, screw driver yeah and also steel which is also called as fe fec4 yes steel etc the items which can be used for manufacturing the substances not the paint not the paint okay not the paint okay so these are etc not only these etc even potassium is used wood is used when wood comes under the material noun because it is used for manufacturing doors uh cupboards yeah and also the doors of windows yes yeah etc okay these are the nouns used for manufacturing different substances which can be used okay okay so i think it's clear, clear about concrete nouns and material nouns and next there are, uh, these nouns are very simple to understand which are countable nouns and uncountable nouns in the name itself we can understand the definition yes or no guys countable nouns are the nouns which can be countable and uncountable nouns are count, uh, nouns which can't be countable i'll explain in a detailed way okay oh uh, so uh, there, there is no link between countable and uncountable guys like common and proper countable nouns uncountable 
countable nouns. The nouns which can be countable. Exam okay, let's take even I'll write these definitions. The nouns which are uncountable. See for countable nouns we can take um what we can take buttons. Yeah? Buttons, either it may be shirt buttons or it may be remote buttons, you can count them. Letters, words, or marker, markers. You can count how many markers are there. If I keep four markers, you can count one, two, three, four. There are four markers. Yes, those, are, those can be countable. And etc. etc. And uncountable nouns. Example, water. Oil, ink, we can count ink bottles, yes, we can count ink bottles but not ink, yes, water, oil, ink, or um, what we can say, etc, yeah, etc. So these are the nouns, uncountable nouns are the nouns which can't be countable. Like water, oil, or the fluids. All the fluids. All the fluids. And gases. Are uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. All the fluids like water, oil, uh, like ink, or many other. And for example, a gases, hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen, can we count them? We can't even we can't even see them. How can we count them? Yes. So all gases, for example, steam, flame is there. Can you count how uh, flame? How many? How much flame is there? You can you can measure you can measure the temperature, but you can't count the flame. Flame, steam, uh, water, oil, ink, or uh, what we say, hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen etc yes so these are the nouns which can be countable and countable nouns are the count, uh, nouns which can be countable and yeah and as usually i will give you a few fits please try to answer Okay, and um, today your QFS is make a tongue twister containing um what do you say a uh, concrete. Material countable and uncountable nouns like how we did now, like um, chalk, milk, troop, love, chalk, milk, true love, chalk, milk, true love, like that. I have to make a time twister containing. Concrete noun, material noun, collective noun, oh sorry, countable noun and uncountable nouns. So this is all about today's video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, like this video and subscribe my channel for more exciting, knowledgeable, educational videos. And if you have any doubt in any subject except languages like Hindi and Telugu, if you have any doubt except those languages, you can just comment. You can just comment of, of any video. There are uh, there are about thirty videos in our channel, so you can comment of any video. Yes, you can comment of any video. Just uh, like I have a doubt. 
in this subject this concept i'll just make a, i'll just simply make a video of that concept clearly so that you can understand it yes because the conceptual understanding is very important you can't butterfly every answer in your fas essays or uh, final exams you can't butterfly every answer you have to understand that every answer such that you can write by your own so that you can get easily marks if you understand the concept so if you have any doubt just post it in the comment section of any of our 30 videos in our channel okay so that's all about today hope you like this video if you like this video just like our video and also subscribe my channel for more exciting knowledgeable educational academical videos so that's it for today guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one with the leave signing off your logical brilliance